what's happening this week? I heard matriculants, there were results that came out this week. Yeah, results came out this week. Um, they, they, they okay. Yeah. Results are okay. Uh, but I think we, we just a couple of dec- de- decimals away from hitting that 90. So we got a distinction, you say, as a country. As a country, we have a distinction. <laughs> okay. At least <laughs> but, we got a distinction. Yeah, because currently the, the, um, the pass rate for 2023 metrics is 82.9%. They should have rounded it off to 83. Yeah. I mean, look, you know, in high school, I heard uh, my little brother was telling me, got to one of the guys got for like three subjects or something, got or for more, but he got yeah. 99 and they couldn't give him um, a clipper. The, the, the clipper. Ow. And he was just curious, like, is, is that how it works? Like they can't give you that 1% or how does it work? But yeah, interesting that as a country, we got 82.9. 82.9, and it increased from 2.8. The previous year, it was 2.8. Uh, it increased by 2.8, sorry. Oh, by increased 2.8, by 2.8, okay. yeah. So I'm guessing we're around 80 or 70, somewhere there, 70-something, 79 point something. And according to this report, the 82.9% marks the highest since democracy. Hmm. Interesting, but... Zooms, zooms. You know our pass rate is one of the lowest in the world, right? Of course, it's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. lowest. I think Pasa, you need thirty percent or twenty-two. Yeah, I remember when I was in school quite a while back. I mean, this might expose my age, but you need a thirty-three point three. Oh, you were in school with my deeps, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I definitely was. It was uh, beautiful years. But just thinking about this whole results, I'm actually like curious, you know. Where were you when you got your results? And you got them by newspaper, right? Newspaper, yeah. And they yeah. still do, do them by newspaper now? I, I think they get SMSs now. They, they're quite advanced. Um, Only I, in the metropolitan areas. Because I'm seeing some areas like... Um, some areas... I can't remember where this person was, but I think they were in Eastern Cape and they sure. were camping out at a garage. Yeah, that's, that's what I did with my friends because they came over, slept over by my place. Okay. And then we went to the nearest garage in the morning, started picking newspaper, we passed. And then, yeah, we got irresponsible Nyana. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. But that ir- irresponsibility was just us having a celebratory drink. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. That you made it. You made it out. We made it. But I see number one actually, free state. Eh, kids in the free state are working hard. That must be a first. They are working very, very hard. They've got nothing else to do, bro. Are we thanking Ace Mahajule? <laughs> <laughs> we might. We have to thank Ace Mahajule on this one. But I think they've got nothing to do, bro. But study. They're true. What's there to do? Because the makufe doesn't happen anymore. So they must stop with these parties. We are one of us who's in makufe now. Kids are passing proper. And it's nice. I mean, Free State got 89. Look at KZN. I'm shocked about KZN. Look at KZN. I mean, I need to ask. Oba, I never wrote so these boys probably come with like a grand but hey, teacher oh, bye, bye, naive. <laughs> because the things that i see in case and i'm from case and it's quite shocking but it's very Bro. very um good to see case and up here and i'm impressed man yeah. I'm, and the eastern instant cape is normally number last yeah eastern yeah. cape is like yo the black sheep of south africa but now it's number six Sure. With and 81.4%. And it's just wow, um, guys. being beaten by Western Cape by a little bit. Ganganji, Western Cape, Gangan. The other country, Western Cape. The, the other country. country. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can be a, a different country. It's fine. We don't need this 81. This education, we don't need this education. Because <laughs> Ngap would probably be in the 90s as a country. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think so. But yeah. must make a town. But you know the countries like I mean the provinces like Northern Cape and Bumalanga, we sure. see that they occupy the bottom two, the eight and nine. Of course, we've got nine provinces, so that's why there's actually only nine of them. But yeah, number last is Northern Cape with seventy five point eight, and in Bumalanga seventy seven. Good, good, Bumalanga. But how how is that? Is that so crazy? But anyway, maybe people obviously move around, and we know how you know the world works. They don't just stay there in that certain sure, area. But sure. yeah, in Bumalanga, people are rich there, bro. They have, they have land there. They do. Peeps have they, land there. There's have mines there. Land, like, yeah, peeps yeah, are yeah. quite established in Bumalanga, actually, because there's Cecil, there's all these kind of things. So, um, probably the unemployment rate is not as high as Gauteng. 
Sure, yeah. Kauteng, yeah, there's possibly, way more yeah. people than Abompumalanga. Of course, yeah, and yeah. the pass rate is what? 85.4. For Kauteng, yeah, Gauteng. which was number three. Number three. In the whole country. Look, it's still interesting numbers. So, I mean, look, it it always is interesting seeing um, these pass rates. And I sure. know, like, we shocked about Free State. We shocked about KZN. Yeah. Gauteng, we know it's normally similar positions around here. But another, I was seeing videos, actually, on Twitter, on X, rather. About with teachers dancing and people just commenting hey, around hey, that. Da- that's why it's up with teacher must lay queen. Man. Yeah, we were dancing hey, like, from male to female. Yeah. They were all dancing in the Damn. videos, which was actually quite interesting. That's dope, man. Tina I love Spetta, that energy. Yeah, Tina was better with Pezedi no day. He hey. couldn't do anything. Abu like Koko. Strict, yeah. Abu, Abu Koko. Abu, yeah. Abu Farieden. Yeah. Huh? Or to, for this way, Africans go find the Mavis. Yeah. You must know, my boy, you are going boy. to land at Africa. Boy. boy. There's no. There's no such a thing, I mean. But it's interesting to see how you know the um, the education is evolving because I think some teachers are realizing, you know, how social media is affecting kids, and so therefore they need to try and sort of be like them, sure, um, to sure. relate to them to some degree. Obviously, still keeping the teacher uh, line because you we've seen before also students fighting with teachers maybe yeah. maybe yeah. they or yeah. they don't agree with what's happening I, but yeah I, I think they like you're saying with bafunuba relatable logoti nanoma i reprimand you later yeah. it's we are on that level you but it doesn't yeah. mean logoti melong chwayele manje no 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 i'm still your teacher i'm still your elder sure yeah but we can connect on certain things for like, sure because we all human yeah because we human you with, know what yeah, I mean? yeah we human yeah young Todd. That's Which is amazing, though. man. Yeah, that's amazing. But yeah, that's all on the metric results. Metric results. For Props to them. Well yeah. done, guys. Well Shout done. out to the whole nation for your eighty-two point nine yeah. percent. I don't know what it was when I was um, when I was in school, but yeah, sure. that's also an interesting one. Ish. Lives, bro. Um, I mean, I'm not happy. Firstly, I'm also I not happy. I'm, I'm not happy. There's a lady by the name of Tasha Zulu Babe on Twitter. Aibo. When's it? Tasha Zulu baby. At Tasha Zulu baby at, is killing at us. At Tasha Zulu baby. At ta- uh, no no no, that's not her handle. Her handle is at G N O N T. G O. G N O N T. That's her handle. At G N O N T. G not. G G not. Whatever it is, but her name is Tasha Zulu baby. Tasha Zulu baby is killing the game, bro. For for the homies. Oh yeah. For the homies. Good day, man. The, the single homies are gonna suffer now. My logo to Tinder, get your babe. She she just killed the game. She's like, ladies, take note, right? She, I or, think your boyfriend is king. king. Why your boyfriend? Your boyfriend king. How would she know this? Very She's good. like, if a guy invites you to his house, and his friends start leaving one after the other. My sister, follow the last person. Why? Yo. <laughs> Yo. Tasha Zulu, baby. Uh, Tasha, kawata machita maning. Oh, kawata machita. But I need to ask, though, then. Is that, is that, would that be your girlfriend or is that like a new, a new baby? I think it's more like a new baby because your girlfriend wouldn't want your friends. Then. Of course, number one. Yeah, yeah I understand. This, sure. this is your new jersey. Sure. Okay, sorry to refer oh, to Oh, that. I mean, it could be also that, you know, she, she's saying it's about to go down. Exactly. <laughs> That's where you start taking out your Ferrera Roche. I need to, guys, Sfiso has to go before I take out the nice things. Because Sfiso is going to eat all the chocolates. Firstly, I can ask you the Ferrera Roche. We are born. Ufistos, Ufistos, Ferrera Roche. Napupuza, I'm staying. No, 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 no. Ufistos. So, babe, if you are the last person, it means you are the special one. For sure, yeah, it means you're the special. Don't yes. listen to Tasha. Don't listen Tasha to baby. Tasha. Tasha, I get caught right. Ah, we ask our to Tasha, baby. Where, so when did she tweet this actually? Uh, it went out on the 23rd. Okay, okay. Yeah. Tasha baby. In the morning. T- eh, she was part of this. Yeah, if Tasha it's baby. It's so early in the morning before 7 o'clock. You're already putting this out. The, pro- the, the problem is the boyfriend wasn't paying attention. Eish, clearly. Homeboy. Yeah, she started with attention ladies. I. I. Yeah. Homie must work harder. Homie must definitely <laughs> work a bit harder, man. But what's been happening during the week, bro, besides Utasha Baby causing some havoc here? Besides Utasha Babe, I see B, um, Big Brother Mzansi uh, started on Sunday. Which is obviously in our trending topics, right? It's in our trending topics, of course, and it's going to be for the longest time. I just wonder which star is going to emerge from this show. Yeah, you know it's so interesting. Yeah, but I mean, we know 
um, Big Brother generally as a brand trends quite a lot yeah. in generally. So yeah, we're definitely going to unpack a little bit more about it. Uh, I'm seeing some faves coming out just here and sure, there already sure. in the beginning. Already signa my faves. Already signa my faves. But of course, we know that we know um, sometimes what happens on Twitter doesn't really relate to reality. So maybe yeah. people are not even voting that what might happen. Sure. But but I see that's that's where like the cult following starts. Yeah. I think it starts from episode one where people pick who they want to be with and they stick to that person throughout unless if that person gets eliminated they have to vote for them though and i think yes. that's what i'm trying to say so people don't actually vote and that's the problem that's always but look been. at course because he was trending from day day one but that's different not that was, trending but, but that, that, that was different i would say south africa we know it doesn't trend the same sure as the pb niger or pb all stars so yeah you're right though the cult following can start exactly like this but I am seeing some cult followings, uh, if you want to call them that. Already. Know. Yeah. Damn, damn. Yeah, some friends of mine with in the in the PR industry. And some prominent prominent names, too, are actually, you know, rooting for these people. So it's going to be interesting who comes out as the winner. Good luck, good luck to all of you guys. Um, I want to ask, would you do Big Brother? Nah. Why not? Nah. I'm, I'm a private person, so I don't like people knowing a lot of things about it. I just do this podcast because of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, man. Yeah. I'm not on social media. I don't do those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. You know, I love keeping my life super, super private. For sure. Yeah. You? I, I've thought about it quite a while ago, though. Um, maybe five years ago, something like that. But yeah. now I wouldn't do it. Um, but I do know that it's, you know, if you come out maybe in the top, or even, even in the top 10 or top five, I do think that it can give you a little bit of clout. It can. Yeah, it definitely can. Especially if you win it, then obviously that's the whole point. I brands. mean, everybody would love to yeah. win it, especially the money and the brands associated with, associated with it. Uh, but I wouldn't do it now. No ways. Bro. I mean, we have shower hour. No <laughs> ways. <laughs> Every day. Every, Every, uh, and I chose this myself. I hey, but once I'm rich, who cares? Do you call it rich though? Getting a meal? What is it? A meal, two meal? I'm richer than most South Africans. Fair. Yeah. So Fair. that'll be the one. But another another point that's something that I saw up, um, in the news during the week is that the GMPD has appointed 200 points men in a bid to address the impact of power cuts and ANC for you, Chan. Yeah, yeah. On busy traffic intersections. It seems, however, some of these new recruits have vanished into thin air <laughs> along with vehicles handed to them. That's so crazy, right? Oh man! This oh, was like man. This, it's almost like this was classic. It was gonna happen. So they gave them vehicles, but they appointsmen. I do think they mixed them up a little bit. So I think they also hired uh, some of the guys that are already on the streets. Yeah, and then they probably mix them up with some new recruits, just generally people who are looking for jobs. No, they people must who come get out of high school and stuff. Scooters. Look at the insurance guys. Those guys ask for lifts sometimes, and they catch taxis, and some have scooters when they have a license, chief. They ain't getting vehicles. We're just waiting, wasting state money getting vehicles. That is so crazy, though. Do you think, it sounds like you know there's a tender behind it. I mean, there how, is. how do you disappear with state vehicles, property? uniform? Where is the tracker? Where Aye. is the where is the intelligence? Like, who's the fool here? They looting for the last time. I think they're looting for Aye, the last time. Good for them, man. Yeah, but that's some news that I right. saw there. I mean, I know that in Joburg, if, especially if you're listening from Johannesburg, we struggle with quite a lot of like lights that are out, and so therefore there's people always directing, mm. and people give them money. They do it for tips, and now they actually hired them, and well, some of them. I don't think all of them, but now it just turned against them. I think they should have found a way to partner up with Outsurance. And uh, instead of uh, what's this recruiting new people, getting Outsurance to recruit their people, because they do an amazing job. Apparently, they, that relationship used to work, but it no longer works actually anymore. So they it's don't. Because it's the government. That's it's why the government. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Private yeah. sector has it on point. Because we remember, we used to, um, there used to be insurance pointsmen out there. 100%. And I think that relationship died out and it slowly have been done. And, and tell me if you've noticed anywhere in your area, guys. So let us know if you've noticed in your area. I've, any, I've seen any. actually on, on Cedar Road, I've yeah. seen them a couple of times. A couple but of they times. They have, yeah. like, they normally show up during busy hours. Yes, yeah. yeah. They're not always going to be no. there. Uh, but they definitely try and make a plan to be there. Why don't we tip those guys instead? Which guys? the the outsurance guys because they do an amazing job whether you tip them or you don't tip them i think it's the relationship between government and outsurance yeah so that guy you can tip him but if they say it's over true, he true. he goes back home 
I'm in a sense called Melan J14 because we are tipping the wrong people that can't even control traffic at this point. But anyways, let's move right along. Yeah, well, uh, but in terms of control, there's also like our filmmakers and producers in South Africa. They can't control themselves, eh? Mm. Especially with adulting. What's happening there? Hey. I'm seeing a lot of nudity. But in points, man, Labo. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They need some controlling because <laughs> what they are doing is out of control. <laughs> out of control. And you know, like I was on a golf course a few days ago and this... Older guy, and a very respectable gentleman, and he even knew about the senior at Which one? The the squats. The squatting one. Yeah. <laughs> is that the current one? Is that the latest one? No, the uh, the last two episodes, which is episode seven and episode eight, uh, there was actually no sex scenes at all, which okay. was amazing because now the um, the storyline is getting to to develop and you get to understand the characters themselves. But when they get stuck in those sex scenes too much, ish. We understand. Sometimes, don't you? We understand what's happening. But they're explicit, eh? Hey, too much. Hey, the squatting one. I and know, and guys, it'll be I like two know. minutes on one scene. Two minutes, that's, one scene. That's too chat. long. That used to be a taboo back in the days. Like, exactly. you couldn't watch TV like that. Exactly. But you know what? I mean, it is show, Max. You do have the right to subscribe yeah. to that. It's not like national television sure, where it's shown sure. to everybody else. We're not complaining. Though. Sure, yeah, we're definitely not complaining. <laughs> we're not so, complaining, guys. Yeah, so shout out to adulting. I mean, shout out know, to them. Yeah, yeah. Amazing show. I'm seeing a lot of news around yeah. them, definitely. It, and, it just also shows the, the power of second screening, like yeah. people watching TV, tweeting at the same time. Because you'd see those videos on your timeline. Oh, and yeah, then you're definitely. like, oh, damn. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, a lot of sex scenes are re- resurfacing yeah. on Twitter. And the other one I saw is uh, Chloe Bailey, I think, one of the ladies like that. She's um, one of the twins or sisters, rather. Yeah. Her scene is also trending with, um, who's this dark guy? He's a dark, handsome guy. He was dating Lori Harvey. Um, uh, I forgot. I Id- Idris something. Okay. His name is Idris something, I yeah. think. Um, a very young guy. But also, now they were having a sex scene. And it was just crazy, and it's resurfacing all over uh, social media. But I know that people have talked about X being uh, very much a porn platform. You mm, find porn. It's porn. becoming exactly that. I, I don't come across it, you know, definitely. But Yo, I know that a lot of people talk about it. Say, I, I, a lot. Dude, I, I want to delete X because of all of that, or just fl- filter it out. Because I have that other channel with every everyone that I follow and all those kind of things. But you tend to miss out on current news. Yeah, you yeah, do. I understand. Yeah. And then you get hashtag hijackers. I, I never busy. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. Got working hard as hell, shorty. But there's also somebody who's busy. A tabilioka. Ish. Tabilio. When I got to tabilioka. The sister. The yeah. sister with PhD. From London. From London School of Economics. Ha. She has a she has a PhD from the London School of yeah. Economics. It's dope wins, I Fake. Oh, she's fake. Like no, the, the PhD is Don't fake. Lie. For, for realsies. That's PhD. why now they extra, they extra from, Cyril Ramaphosa actually extra from his advisory council. Okay, so she was part of Cyril Ramaphosa's yes. advisory council. Yes, the highest. The okay, country. so what happened? What happened? Uh, so I think they discovered Guti, her PhD is actually not, um, it's, it's yeah. not real. They called the school. The school confirmed. It was a smaz with sister. Sister was on 702. And she was like, she used a different name when she was enrolled. And now she changed her name. What, what, what? You know, the kind of things. And the guys on the show even didn't believe her. I, I, dog, I'm just a messenger here. <laughs> I'm not saying I believe or what. She probably has, man. Yeah. I don't want to hate. But already sister has a master's that she got in 2004. Sure. That alone is amazing. So yeah. we mustn't... Uh, Disregard all of that. That's so understand. true. But I do know that a lot of like people in the political sphere have PhDs. I mean, we know about ah, those Zuma ones was, are all fake. Yeah. Even even their matric certificate is fake. I think so. I mean, we've seen uh, some EFF members also showing them as going to school, and some have been proven right, sure. some have been proven wrong. But it's interesting that you know uh, somebody in Cyril's advisory council has a fake PhD. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's not all. She also resigned from uh, the MTN board. She was part of the board, MTN. Okay, is this because of what happened? Of this PhD. She resigned. She, of course, they push okay. it to that point. Okay, they obviously, push it to that obviously point. I think she gets, uh, she probably gets something if she resigns herself instead of being fired. Yeah, and firing you is just another process. They probably were like, dude, you see this? Yeah. I think the best way is just to resign. Why? And once you're on that level, you don't want to take uh, Ogo by board member to the CCMA now. <laughs> you queuing in town. No, Naji. it's fine. Let it go. Nago Anglo Platinum. She was also part of the board there. 
she also resigned from there. That's so interesting. I mean, you know, um, I wonder if the PhD played a part in her getting all these uh, roles that she's sure. gotten in her life and what impact it actually had on those companies. I mean, it would be interesting to hear from somebody who hires at a high level like yeah. that, um, whether a PhD does make play a role or it doesn't at all. I mean, it's interesting. But yeah, Tabi Lioka. Hey, Dodgy. Hey, Dodgy, Dodgy, Dodgy. I think last one, Bafana. Yeah, but Bafana we won. won. <laughs> we won. 4 0. Look at your face. Excited. We won 4 0. Yeah? Dude, the Springboks won a World Cup. These guys just won a game. Ah, oh, it's fine. A measly. Bro, oh, it's fine. I want them to win another game and another one. But it then was against Namibia, the desert itself. Nam- I mean, Namibia only has 2 million people. So only 11 people play soccer. <laughs> so, <laughs> only 11 people in Namibia play soccer. There's no substitutes or There's things nothing, like that. Yeah. No. Only 11 players, not 11 million. 11 players. Or 11 players. 11 yeah. players play football. There's only 2 point something million people in the entire country. But that's funny. I think they beat Tunisia or another African country in their opening game. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah. anyways, I still want them to win the name. I'm not a hater or anything, but I don't want us to be uh, to start celebrate prematurely. Oh, yeah, definitely. You see, I asked Bafana Bafana, and anybody who's ever supported any Bafana Bafana games, Firstly, they start at 10 p.m. <laughs> the minute they lose, 10 it's p.m. is Katsabos as a gong. I went to Vachela go to kick off. But he redeemed himself. So shout out to the boys. Shout out to the boys. Yeah, we definitely not hating. We hope you guys definitely go far in this AFCON competition because it's been a while since we've won AFCON. And winning AFCON would prove quite a lot for us as a nation. Or even, I think, getting to the semi finals or even the finals. Something would do us quite a lot. We, I don't think we've done well in the tournament. So yeah, it'll be interesting where Bafana Bafana goes next. I wonder who we're playing next, actually. Um, let me check quickly who we're playing next. And I hope that it is an easy task. Do you know who it is? Uh, no, I'm not too sure. But I know in our group we had Mali. It's Namibia now. We're playing Tunisia next. Yo, Tunisia. Tunisia used to be tough. I don't know anymore. Yeah, we're playing them tomorrow at 7. Okay, that I'll watch. I actually don't think that we will win this one, but um, you get your pathway slips up. Tunisia is definitely winning this like three. Maybe a draw. If they can win, they should draw at least. No, not Tunisia. Anyway, Zooms, um, what's happening? What's, how was your weekend, man? You were telling me about your golf course and all those nice things. Hey, bro, there's like a secret life in South Africa, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Uh-huh. I went to this golf course uh, called the River Club. Yeah. And it's somewhere there in Santa, and it's like a secret location to even get there. Apparently, this golf club is allows a certain number of people. I won't disclose all the information. Sure. Um, but it allows a certain number of people, and you are only invited. So you could be a multi-billionaire. If you're not invited in there, they don't not. really want any. Mm. And you pay a fee mm. in the north of 400000 Empty. To be part of the yeah. thing. So they invite you, like, was and Pijan. But let me tell you, bro, the things that I saw there, I saw the, I think it's a Ferrari Pura Sang. Pura Sangue. Pura Sangue. Yeah. And I saw a, a white lady driving there, like a youngish white lady driving there, being followed by two pimped out Raptors uh. security guards. And they, like, I just realized the wealth, like, everything started making sense. The fact that you have to be invited yeah. there. Um, the that's, where that's where Cyril plays, actually. That's where Cyril plays, yeah. It's actually been known that he plays yeah. there. So I got a privilege to play on there, uh, and I hope that I'm going to play there more times. And I did break 100. I mean, for those who follow my YouTube channel know that I'm trying to break 100. And I broke 100 there, and I've nice. been breaking it quite a lot. So nice. I hope to play there in mid zero and maybe ask him a few questions. <laughs> and you know? ask him to invite Zuma. Yeah. And then that's <laughs> In fact, <laughs> if I could get to both of them, just like guys, let's go <laughs> play. Cyril, Cyril Zuma, and and Zuma. Cyril, yeah, could be, could be in the middle. <laughs> They'll be one to see, even one hole. There'll be something to see. But yeah, I played at River Club and I just saw the amount of wealth in this country, man. It's just so insane that there's so much wealth walking around and driving around. And we know that there's wealth, but sometimes we don't see it. And yeah. sometimes it, they just don't on me. Uh, but and yeah, we, we think wealth is in the club. No Forget, way. Boy. Bro, no let's way. change. Yeah, Anyways, we, we definitely need to change on that one. Yeah, well, that's all the stuff that happened during the weekend, my yeah. weekend. Um, I'm sure there's so much that happened, especially like just um, on the Twitter streets. We know that Twitter is always busy with something. But let's move on, bro. Let's actually give them the juice that the people... 
are probably here for. We Jules know that the marketers back. are definitely here for this. So let's get into the overview, which I'll get going with. In terms of the total mentions, um, we're comparing this to last week, right? Sure. So what we do, so the overview here, we're looking at the first three weeks of Jan because okay, we sure. didn't cover all of that. Yeah, we did so it's it. Like yeah. from the first until the twenty-first. Okay. Yeah. So from the first of January till the twenty-first. Till the twenty-first. All right. So if we're comparing, we're comparing it to the previous period in December. Yeah. All right, yeah. nice. Okay, cool. So in that period there, which has been interesting, from the 1st of January till the 20... You said 21st. The 20, 21st yeah, of January. Yeah. My apologies there. We've got 22, point, 22 million, actually, um, tweets that went out. Oof. That's quite a lot. Oof. That is quite a lot. Yeah, Jeez. that's a lot, eh? In three weeks. I mean, weeks. that's about three weeks, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Big, bro- big Brother is definitely That's up. like over seven per week. That's... Jeez, yeah, that, yeah, that is seven, 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 seven. It's like uh, twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be interesting to see what's been driving the conversation. Yeah, and then in terms of the unique authors, we see that it's gone down by sixteen percent. So now it's at one hundred ninety thousand people mm. that tweeted in these three weeks. I mean, look, um, you know, it still is the first three weeks of January. Um, so it shouldn't reflect much, but interesting numbers, bro. And then let's go to the sentiment of the country, which would also we, we we look at we, the word we, cloud. What's happening? What's, what's I, happening? I see you could see the positive has gone up, which is amazing. Yeah, we are just in those three weeks, we got just below three million uh positive tweets, so that's interesting. Okay, uh, and that's an increase of 12 percent. And then in terms of the negative, we're seeing just over five million negative tweets, it's like 5.1, yeah, so, yeah, 5.1 or something with a 17 percent increase. Whoa. And let's see, I want to see the word cloud for that in terms of the negative and the positive. Yeah. I see that in the negative there's NC, but please, can you give us more? Because you might have some in-depth on these ones, yeah? Yeah, I think there was a lot of things that people were saying about the ANC. Firstly, I think it's also around the service delivery. Yeah. Um, it it also ties in with um, the, the case that um, that's happening in, where is that? Gaza. Is there no, a case no, happening in Gaza? Oh, no, no, no. The, you mean the, 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 the political case happening right yes, now? Yes, at the international court. Sure, yeah. No, you can go past. Don't worry. You can go past. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be on camera at all. Uh, but yeah, so you're saying the NC has been coming up quite a lot because of um, the case that's country happening yeah, right now. It's, 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 it's a lot of things that are happening, right? Because we know they are campaigning in some parts of the country. Yeah. Uh, I think they were campaigning, I don't know which province, but they got a beating. Okay. So some ANC Youth League um, comrades got a beating from the MK guys. It's just, it's messy. In a violent thing. Violence. Oh. Violence. Fist Baba. Oh, Popo. shucks. I'm Shang in Koman. Which is actually interesting that you mentioned the uh, the MK because we know that it's in our trending Yeah, in our uh, trending topic. So yeah, we can yeah. see with ANC, the president also shows up. Like, it's 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 a, it's a lot. It's a lot. But Gaza, Israel, Palestine, it's also still up there in the negative. For sure. And yeah. I see South African is also trending because I think it's also got to do with Trikas. Ah. With Trikas. Ah. Ay. Ah. Ay, that man was ah. smashing those ah. people. Right? Bah, bah. But I hear a lot of South Africans woke up at like 4, 4 30. Just to watch home. <laughs> but then the match was, wasn't it like at 9 or something? Yo, like that? It was just crazy hours. Damn, homie. And yeah. then the positive, you can see there's happy birthday, happy new year. Okay. Of course, Twala. She shows As up. As always, God. God, God shows up. have to thank God. Yeah. God, dear. I think everybody definitely hears resolutions and making sure that they keep their prayers up at all yeah. the times. And then congratulations comes up. I'm sure that's definitely for Trikas also and some other things obviously, that's obviously happened during uh, these last three weeks. But yeah, that's the positive word, cloud. I uh, I see here also first day, which is quite a small one. Mm. Um, first day of school. First day of school yeah. and first day of the year. Definitely yeah. uh, a part of the conversation. That's the positivity. That's the positivity. All right. So then we can go to the busiest day and busiest hour. So the busiest day in the past three weeks uh, has been Wednesdays. Okay. Yeah. Wednesdays, tricky. And combined together, all the Wednesdays have 3.4 million tweets. Sheesh. I believe that's that's a lot already. That is like, quite that a is, lot. That yeah, is a lot. Yeah. Uh, those are like what weekly numbers sometimes yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> and uh, there are five contributing themes to this sure. firstly we have the israel palestine conflict that's currently happening and um it's just people expressing opinions and highlighting the suffering of palestines 
Uh, number two, it's around sports. So we have FCON that just started and people are just talking about Tanzania, uh, the national football team in the tournament. I sure, think they've yeah. been performing well and or I think something like that. And I think it's probably like their first time or something like that getting yeah. in there or they won or something like that. But we'll get the facts right for you guys. Just check the comments. Yeah, tall. And then we have crime and punishment also as a theme. And it's around a bookkeeper who stole millions from his employer's trust fund, uh, showcasing the theme of crime and punishment i think it's the the lady from moja love oh yeah yeah and she used that money to buy alcohol and what was it they said alcohol and something she she, she, oh there was actually some news about this quite a while back yeah, where i saw people talking yeah, about her yeah. and what's happening around and quite a lot of negative news came around there but yeah so that's that yeah and then i see politics is also on yeah. politics we have <laughs> jacob Zuma uh, and uh, Cyril Ramaphosa uh, eh, in a flash. Yeah, sure, yeah, that. and of course they, we know right now, I mean, the MK is quite a big topic. Yeah, they're campaigning, and the MK party is campaigning, ANC is campaigning. So these two guys, because I think it's it's like a boxing match between the two right now. Oh, yeah, where definitely. The ANC is bad-mouthing this guy, the, uh, president, former president Jacob Zuma, and then his party is also saying things about the ANC, revealing some secrets that we didn't know about. Sure, uh, yeah. I think everyone is just airing everyone's dirty laundry. Yeah, point. there's yeah. quite a lot happening around this. I also believe that Obama Zuma can't uh, run for election. Yeah, according to around the IEC, things, he, uh, because he's been president before, before. So yeah, and he can't run with another party, sure. things like that. I think obviously uh, there's quite a lot going on on there. But yeah. yeah, that's definitely the busiest day and the conversations around it. And then we obviously see the busiest. Times. hour in the morning was yeah. 9 a.m to 10 a.m 10 in the morning 9 a.m 10 a.m and the evening is 8 p.m and 9 p.m okay yeah so around about the times i mean which we are around i want to see what it's like with afcon especially the evening times yes and uh, yes. what happens with afcon i mean we the times are up and down like we on wednesday we're playing at seven but other nights we've been playing at 10 p.m and I know as South Africans, we definitely going to be watching all those games. Just yeah, far, 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 yeah. Far, I think 9 p.m., even 10 p.m. is also up there, but it didn't beat 9 p.m. That's sure, the build yeah. up of the game. So people start talking, the lineup, who's playing, those kind of things. So I think the FCON actually has, um, um, has contributed quite a lot in the times that we're seeing. Love this, bro. Really, really love this. Um, okay, let's go to the top trending hashtags. Uh, yeah. Without even wasting any more time, Scala and I see, from five. I scale from you, five. Okay, given me the strat of starting from the bottom for sure to the top. To the top, to the top we go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna kick it off with number five and number four. Then you take it from there. Sure. So in terms of number five, we are seeing vote hashtag vote MK2024. Ooh, they now have a hashtag. This is and interesting, right? See. And they're in our top five. Top five. Top five. And they got what thirty five thousand mentions. Yeah, thirty five thousand mentions and one hundred sixty million impressions. We do know that what's going on at the MK, so we won't expand much. But um, it's interesting that they've got a, they've got um, a hashtag, and we know that in real life is getting some votes. So it's interesting to see them go back and relate onto Twitter, onto the platform, yeah, onto yeah. platforms and social social media platforms. So it's not always just about um, the votes or just social media itself. But it's interesting to see hashtag vote. MK2024. Nice. And nice. number five. And then at number four is our girl. It's my favorite. Yeah. The fave herself. The fave herself. The fave herself. But the hashtag this time is in case you missed it with 35,000 mentions and 851 yeah. million. Hey, these impressions. impressions. She's going in with the impressions. She's eh? definitely going in and she's sticking to the top five this yeah. year. Eh? Which is amazing. Yeah. I definitely, I think she deserves a round of applause for this one. Shout out to you, Destiny Z. Keep it up. I've been um, talking to her. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, there might be a possibility of us having hey. her on the platform, depending hey. to where she's based, right? Hey, if Destiny If she's Z. in Pumalang, I think we'll just drive down, record at the crew, yeah. you know? <laughs> record it. It would be great to have Destiny Z on here. We know that she's an interesting human being. She must share her formula. Yeah, she needs to share the formula yeah. on the podcast. Get ready. Uh, Destiny Z, we know we won't be asking you any spicy stuff, but it would be <laughs> nice to have you on here. And if you guys have any prior questions for her, please let us put know. Put them in the comments. Definitely yeah. put them in the comments. But at number four, in case you missed it, is in the top training hashtags of South Africa. Let me give it to you with number three, which is a new entry, bro. Hmm. Number three, BB Mzans. Hey, I, these BB, like BBL, BB. <laughs> I think I need to start a BB something. Eh? BB photos, BB something. BB, BB hey. 
Brazilian uh, yeah, that. this one is B, uh, Big Brother Mzansi it kicked off on Sunday like I said the 21st of January yeah. uh, already it has 36,000 mentions and 373 million impressions sure already already and it's it, number three it only kicked off on Sunday yeah only on Sunday oh. only and, and pulling these stats I cut off on Sunday so already on Sunday they were number three Wow, we do know that Impressive. for sure. That, um, but but sorry, I'm sorry sure. to cut you there. But with these guys, it doesn't just happen haphazardly on Sunday. They they um start they seed the conversation like weeks prior. Of Ugo, course, I of saw course, they yeah. had a count, countdown on their timeline. Two more days to go for this. This they drive that excitement and get people excited about the show, so that when it kicks off, there's a lot of viewership. Interesting. I mean. I wonder, yeah, how people actually enter for Big Brother, how people entered for Big Brother. But yeah, it's interesting that Big Brother Mzansi is trending at number three, number three in three. South Africa. I actually want to pull up the list here. I want to see if I can find some of the people that I'm already seeing as favorites on sure. here. Um, I do know there was a gent. Uh, that you know. Is there a gent that you know no, that's out there? No, I don't know them at all. Um, but I do know that he's got... He's got dreadlocks. I just want to see if I can see the picture. Yeah. Yes, he has he has dreadlocks. He has a bun. He wears glasses. Very stylish gent. I've seen quite a few of my mates talking about him. I just can't get his name. Oh, yes. There you go. Uh, Papa Coast. What? Papa Coast. What is that? That's Papa, his name. like Papa Penny. Yeah, like Papa Penny. Then like Papa then Ghost. He's Papa Ghost. Oh, damn. Yeah, so I see he's one of the faves that like people are really like rooting for already. So it would be interesting to see how Big Brother Mzansi plays out in the coming so weeks. I, I think just by that name i wouldn't win big brother because <laughs> <laughs> i don't have a cool nickname like that yeah you, you know? need a papa something i need i need to use my mix it uh mix it name <laughs> <laughs> for me to even make it to big brother <laughs> what was your mix it name actually out of curiosity it was probably like put my sweetie Oof, or something like put that. Put my sweetie. Or put my sweetie or put my Lisa or something like that. I was definitely like along those lines, put my Lisa. Ach. I was definitely one of those. Ach. Oh, it could have been Brooklyn Carter because I was I actually was in a phase. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah okay. it, it was must have been Conroe's phase. The Conroe's phase. Yeah, do you remember yours? Uh, I had a couple. I think my first, first one was, was Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't but it? Huh? My last one was Cupid. Oh yeah, Cupid, yeah. Cupid Nova. The God of Love. Hey, the God of Love. Actually, just speaking on Big Brother, you know, we've all got um, Big Brothers in our own houses, you know, especially if you stay with somebody, especially my big, my big bamba, or bamba, or something at the fridge, but like bamba, when's that? That's my food. Or oh, you didn't pick this up. Why the, we all got big brother, you know. If you, if you don't, if you stay alone, you don't have a big brother. But if you stay with somebody, you have a big brother. I mean, I think my own conscience is my big brother. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the dishes and then they'll be like, who's going to wash those the, dishes? The big brother says, hello. Hello, I'm mm. here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, interesting, man. Training at number three in the top training hashtags, M Zanzi is big brother Mzanzi. Zanzi. And then number two is, we've spoken about it. Yeah, FCON 2023 with 42,000 mentions and 1 billion impressions. Yo. One billion impressions. I and it know. just kicked off man, Jinji. I know. Shout excuse out. the pun. Shout out. Shout excuse, out. Excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost didn't catch that one. Yeah, but shout out definitely to Avcon. Shout out to Total Energies. I know the Total Energies they is part of it. our top trending hashtags, but we didn't cover it. I know that I think they were one of the sponsors, but it's called a Total Energies Avcon or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they have to sponsor. Fella. But at the oil like Africa, they can't just... What is Avcon? African football... The- I wonder what Afcon stands for. Guys, cup please. of Nation. Yeah, it must yeah. be. Yeah, it the must African be, yeah. Cup, cup of, of Nation. Nations. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, Af- African Cup of Nations. Yeah. Uh, and then let's go to number two. But our number two deserves... No, that's number two. Oh, Afcon. sorry, two number one. Yeah, yeah. It's number I think one. our number one needs a slow clap. One year straight. She's too much. One year straight. Definitely one year straight now. Cause She's trending. Yeah, in our top three. Because it's with 105... Um, thousand mentions and 104 million impressions. Sure. Shout out. It's too much. Shout out to the girl. Tr- trending at number one in South Africa for the past two Abang, weeks. Let me, let me rewind a bit. Yeah. Last year, this time, she wasn't getting paid for her tweets or, or her Instagram posts. Oh, wow. Fast forward a year later, she's now getting 35K a post on Instagram. 
could, there was an article that yeah. you yeah according to that article that's so crazy it, in one year in one year that's why but your life can change in one year that's so crazy and i know that for sure the big brother Mzante conversation is also spilling over to her but she's still trending number one mm-hmm. so shout out to her shout, shout out, out to, to her to fans shout out to her uh, team everybody that's involved in this yeah training at number one in south africa and then we have a bonus which the is bonus, metric results metric yeah, hash, results hashtag metric results 2023 sure and i'm so glad that it actually made it on to the uh, into the top 10 um as a conversation and it made it onto the to the streets because this is a real life thing like yeah. every single year these metric results come out yeah and we could sort of like just ignore the conversation every single year but it's still important mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, as we can see right now, a bonus hashtag, which is met- metric results 2023, yeah. got 24,000 mentions and 365 million impressions. Nice. Yeah. That's well done to them. Good. And yeah, once again, well done me. to yeah. the class of 2023. Shout hey, that you, lady that couldn't you. pronounce names, though. Oh. I, that lady disappointed and me. She's a, and she's a black lady. She couldn't pronounce ah, black names. She disappointed me, Chief. How did she get that tender? The tender. It's like that guy who got the sign language... A tender um once for i think for ramaposa and one who also one who also got one for um the president of the yeah. u.s previously oh the guy that's it yeah like, <laughs> like how do the people get these tenders but I interesting actually. man this definitely won't doubt the results of the matri- uh, of the matrix so yeah hashtag matrix results 2023 as our bonus hashtag i see an that the, the matriculants should be looking at uh-huh. These yeah. are the Muregis of the Muregis. Yeah, the Muregis, the, Muregis, yeah. the retired Muregis. Yeah, now, you know? they get yeah. paid in dollars. Eh? They get paid in dollars, which yeah. is interesting. So I, I saw our number five actually posted on Twitter that he got, I think it was like 60K for the past three months based sure. on his impressions. I saw a comment of somebody saying... Um, Why is it R and Z? Zia, Z and R. But you wouldn't know if you don't have a blue tick Issue. and you're not getting paid. Issue. So stop hating. Issue. <laughs> and whoever knows what, what number it is, please yeah. let us know. Because so someone remember. actually responded to that and they also got paid. The same thing. And it was showing the same way, where it's like the, um, the rand and yeah. then the amount the, and then Z at, at the, the end. end. Oh, yeah. dope. So you're saying that our number five? Our number five is... Wh- M Blue J. M Blue J. Nice with fifty four thousand mentions and one hundred and ninety three impressions. Million impressions in the first three weeks of January. Yeah, in the nice. first three weeks. Nice one. Already he's getting paid. He's on Elon's uh, retainer. Look. I know. It's he's on Elon's is. retainer. Another Straight one. Up. Another one on retainer is on number four. Number four. Yeah. M D N News. M D N News uh, got mentioned. Uh, sixty uh, got sixty thousand mentions. Right, yeah. uh, with 420, uh, 420 million impressions. Oh, that's nice. That's money right there. That's money. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Ka-ching. Yeah, these guys need to show us how to make more money on Twitter. Yeah. We obviously know it is due to impressions, and we know mm-hmm. like, we're looking at the impressions, yeah, clout and all that kind of stuff. And then number three is one of the clout chasers himself, which is Chris XL. Chris XL, XL, XL 102, the most toxic gent, with 68,000 mentions and 523 million mm. impressions. He's also getting paid. He definitely is getting paid. We know that he's spilling a lot of news and a lot of things yeah. that are happening. I think there. I've picked, uh, I, I, I see the pattern now with the yeah. top five. If you yeah. want impressions and you want to get paid on Twitter, it's either you showcasing news, like the latest current affairs. What's happening You are right the first if one If a bomb happens or whatever. Bomb yeah. happens, you know, you steal Play it from somewhere news, else. Things you like put that, it there. Yeah. Or you're just a cloud chaser. Oh yeah, definitely. Be toxic. We do know that the platform is being compromised just a little bit because of that. And we've yep. talked about it and people have talked about it before. Uguti, there's going to be a lot of cloud chasing and a lot of people just trying to get paid on Twitter. But um, we do hope that it changes a little bit and people don't just chase cloud because it can ruin the platform a little bit, especially for businesses that still want to communicate. Sure. And we've seen Vele, boring, boring stuff doesn't yeah. get any impressions. But the cloud... The clouds, the cloud gets, Baba. The, the cloud, cloud and the pawn. But I, the pawn guys are not here. <laughs> yeah, the pawn guys are not here, which is definitely good. Uh, uh, but I see uh, Edvo Beruru is putting a lot of pornographic images there. Oh, is it? I think he's getting paid by OnlyFans people. I think what he does is like, he, 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 these guys will ask a question like, um, so I saw somebody took a screenshot of, um, uh, they say it's a minister or somebody in the, in the, in the ANC, but somebody wearing an ANC t-shirt. So then, They'll take a screenshot of that and say, who has a video of this? Who mm. has this video? And then what will people do? They'll just comment with porn, 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 mm. porn, 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 mm. porn, porn. And obviously what he will do, maybe hours later, he'll post that same video again. 
he'll post the video because he has the video. But yeah, yeah that's, guy, that's, that's he's cloud chasing. Yeah, that's definitely an ad for Barry Rue. But mm. now we're saying number, at number two. Number two is my favorite. This one is not chasing clout. This one is just wrapping up everything, packaging it nicely, like Net Net Forest. And it's nice. <laughs> Have you seen Net, the new ad? In Net, Net Forest. Forest. Oh Net my Forest. Lord. Oh my lord. What is it? What is it? Oh my lord. It's like uh what ladies would do if you don't get them a gift for Valentine's Day. Oh boy. So this white lady took the guy's toothbrush and he's cleaning the toilet with it. And the black lady is actually making coffee for his ba- uh, for for her bay and she spits inside the coffee. So they're like, if you forget Valentine's Day, that's what's going to happen to you. Did that ad make you want to buy flowers? Hell no. Yeah. And there's not even flowers at the end. There's lint. Now they're giving lint a bad name. But some people like it. Interesting ad. I'd, I'd, I'm not a fan. Let us know, guys, if you've seen it. I don't have any yeah. opinion. I haven't seen it at all. I think for me, it's just how they are portraying women. Yeah. You understand, Aguti. Valentine's means everything. Everything, to them. yeah. Some people don't even celebrate Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day, but we do know Valentine's is the gimmick holiday. That it is. It's a marketing it, gimmick. It's a market, yeah. marketing gimmick. But you know, I'm still gonna be out there getting some flowers if my lady wants flowers on that my day. My lady ain't getting flowers, my nigga. Ish. We doing it the day after. Oh yeah, the day after. <laughs> We're gonna go all out. All out. We ain't doing just for one day and, for and, Saint Valentine's. Yeah, I don't know Saint we don't Valentine's. even know who Saint Valentine's is, and we know on that day prices are just crazy. Yep. They'll tell you like it's date night on that day and these prices are cheaper two for one, but it actually isn't. But hey, we're not trying to rob your business away if you actually do Valentine's Day on any day. But yeah, that's definitely... Just make it the love month special. Love you know, month special. The whole month. The whole yeah, month it should of be a love month. I think so, yeah. But you don't need a day to celebrate and express your love. Like I get flowers on a random day. For sure. On a random today, I can just pull up with flowers and be like, yo. But you know, you know how it is, bro. When you get it on Valentine's Day, it's different. Especially the fact that friends at work are going to be getting it. Uh, you're going to see niggas talking about it. It's everywhere. Valentine's Day. So some women do feel that pressure, even though they probably got it you know, last week or yeah. just two days ago. But it's that specific day. But it also allows us a chance, you know, to go all out on a specific day. No. Um, um, China don't you know, Valentine, uh, 14 Feb is men's conference. Uh, how can you be at home? <laughs> It's men's conference. Chief. Are you not attending? <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, yes, I, I definitely got my invite, so I have to come to the men's conference. But, I, won't, but, I won't be at Valentine's. By but the way. your boyfriend, you got Tesha. Tesha, yeah. the one I was talking about I, in I, the beginning. He can't be phone. invited. Yeah, he's he not can't invited. be invited. He's going to chill with the ladies at home and wait for yeah, his chocolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can get chocolate. He, he killed other people's game. Not our game, but other people's game. That's their bread and butter, man. Hey, toxic niggas, bro. You but yeah, let's carry on with the top tra- with the top earners in South Africa. Yeah. Number so two. Destiny Z is number two. Our fave. Favorite. Sure. Our fave. With In Case You Missed It. So In Case You Missed It and Destiny Z, same, same. Same, same, yeah. yeah. So she was mentioned uh, in 73,000 tweets. Nice. That got 804,000 impressions. That's the highest, my G. That is, is the highest, thousand, my G. Thousand or million? Million, sorry, million. Okay, my it's bad. Million, yeah, 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 it's million. The impressions are all millions. Nice. Yeah. Oh, so she definitely got the most. And then, of course... Um, we see you, Edvo Beiru Edvo coming Beiru. in number one, yeah, uh, with 74,000 mentions and 353, himself. yeah, and 353 million impressions. We do know that he obviously uses clickbait, but yeah, bro, that's is that everything for the week? Yeah, that's everything on X, my G. Sure. Uh, we do know that the Senza Mayewe trial, I think, is starting again um, <laughs> nah, nah, this nah, nah, year. Nah. So, so with the Senza Mayewe trial, it's 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 the I wouldn't say it's funny because it's a serious case. But, For sure, yeah. But uh, yesterday, when I was reading about it on Twitter, there's actually um, uh, what's this? They've um, they've cracked Oguti. It was a hit. <laughs> oh, like it? not everyone knew about it we all okay. knew about that yeah of course I mean, so yeah. anyways let's just watch them do what they do in court waste our time waste state resources but i think they should do the arrests as soon as possible yeah they definitely should do them as soon as possible but yeah that's the news that i'm seeing on here i'm just trying to see what else is currently trending um in sports or in just in general no, I don't see anything else. But yeah, I think that's it for the week. If you guys have anything that you want to let us know that we may might have missed out on the week, please do let us know. Uh, but that is it from Umshuti Wabashuti. 
I definitely want to thank the sponsors, Color Space, and of course, Brandwatch. Thanks to Color Space, man. Thanks to Brandwatch for being our silent partner. Our silent partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they must stay silent and just, and just give us uh, the moolah. But yeah, shout out to you guys for also listening. Those were the roundup stats from the first three weeks of January what has been happening so far. And if you haven't caught on last week's episode, we did a roundup of what happened um, during the holidays while you guys were busy eating your seven colors and gaining weight. And now we do know that you have resolutions like losing weight, uh, traveling more, (laughs) not seeing family more. But yeah, check out that episode. Uh, That's episode one of 2024 on season two. But for Mum Shuti, Waba Shuti, I don't have anything else that I want to say. So I'm definitely going to call this episode and say peace. Peace. Uh, no, I don't say peace, man. Yeah, you don't why, say why, peace. Why, why, why is your peace so <laughs> contagious? Yes, Maybe, I want peace. Yeah, okay, you want peace. Maybe it's just a new year. It's just a new year, but I'm still going to say ciao.